Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel for part number seven of the Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge and as you can see we are in a brand new house in a brand new world because towards the end of the last part I did ask you guys if you would be okay with me moving Autumn to a brand new world just for the simple fact that it seems like more so than before I was experiencing a lot of lag in St. Clair like everything would be totally fine for the most part of the video and then towards the end it would always seem like it would get really 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 laggy and it would start lagging like every 10 seconds it was getting really infuriating and so I asked you guys if it would be okay like I said if I moved her to a town that was a little less intense than what St. Clair was and so we are now living in the world of Ocean View so this is just kind of what it looks like we have a beautiful city area right over here and then off to the side over here we have a bit more of like a apartment living type of area we have lots of apartments over here and then we have like the little equestrian center if we just so happen to get horses I don't actually think that's going to happen but you know it might <laughs> and then up here we have more of like a suburban kind of ritzier area which by the way um Ricky actually lives here in this little house right here and so like I said I did bring Ricky and I also brought Nathan as well and Nathan and his mom actually lives over here in this apartment so yes they are both here in the world with us and then yeah we could probably like go visit them and whatnot at some point in time and then off over here we have a few more apartments we have the nice little beach area right here as well and then just you know some more houses kind of scattered around everywhere we have the school right here as well which unfortunately autumn can't go to for obvious reasons and we have her actually living right here in this little area right next to the river slash ocean area and i just thought that this was a beautiful little like area to set up her new house and the entire story that i kind of had for why autumn moved into this house specifically is like i kind of felt like because we live so close to the ocean that maybe at one point in time the original person that was living here they experienced like some flooding or something and they were forced to leave and then when they decided to come back they realized that there was just like so much wrong with it like there was so much water damage and everything that they just decided to like cut their losses and just completely move house and it stood here abandoned up until autumn found it and she decided to just kind of take it upon herself and make it her own and fix it up because she did have a little bit of money after after we moved from St. Clair. I think she had a little over 2,000 simoleons and so she kind of put up a fresh coat of paint and she fixed the holes in the wall and this is kind of what we got going on right here. So I honestly love this house a lot better than our old house like I love the old one don't get me wrong it was just a little bit too small for my liking and there was only so much that I could do on a 10 by 10 lot and by the way we are on a little bit of a bigger lot this is a 10 by 15 I believe and so we have a little bit more space to work with and so I had her replant her garden which it has grown indefinitely and so we we kind of got that going on off to the front right here and then as we come in to the front room area, we have the kitchen and the small little living room area. Even though it is still small, it's it's a lot more spacious than what it was. And I really like that. I like that it's also one story so that Rue over here can actually come and... Um, like sleep in the bed with Autumn and she doesn't have to like sleep on the floor or sleep on the couch like she has been and I just think that it would be a little bit more comfortable for her and then we also over here have the bathroom and the and our bathroom is definitely a lot better and a lot bigger than it was like we actually have an actual shower like it's not that little stand-up outdoor shower anymore it's an actual shower and then of course we have our toilet and sink and everything and yeah this is just kind of our house at this point so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and let autumn finish making her breakfast she's making herself some pancakes and also i will have a link for this world in the description so if anybody wants to download it then you can definitely go ahead and do that but yeah today i was hoping to get autumn to kind of head on out she keeps burning her damn pancakes girl get your life together please <laughs> and please don't set anything on fire i literally just bought everything okay okay just don't do that and we'll be fine oh and of course you burnt your pancakes lovely 
Looks like we're having burnt pancakes this morning, guys. But yeah, I was hoping to have Autumn actually go out and they were pomegranate pancakes too. Well, you're not gonna have those go to waste, honey. I'm sorry, but you're gonna grab a plate. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, we're gonna have her go out and try and collect some things and just kind of explore around this new world just to see if there's anything that we can kind of snag. Like maybe we can have her go to the park and pick up some flowers and go to like the consignment store to see what we got going on over there. I don't even know if this world has a consignment store. I didn't actually see it. I just kind of placed her in the world and kind of started playing because like I haven't actually really played like sat down and played in this world ever. I've explored it a little bit here and there, but that's that's really all that I've done so far. So yeah, but anyways, another thing that I was hoping to have her do today is actually hang out with Ricky a little bit, just because in the last part, they had a pretty good day yesterday. They went out to the summer festival in St. Clair, and they are actually romantic interests now, so that is pretty exciting. I thought that was super cute. They, like, were getting all sorts of romantic and everything, and how is Rue doing, by the way? Okay, uh, she's doing pretty okay, so we are going to go out to map view, and we are going to to check this place out really quickly. But yeah, they were like getting all sorts of flirty and they were getting all sorts of romantic with each other. They were kissing and just everything. It was a super amazing day and I had so much fun playing yesterday to be honest with you guys. But yeah, all right, so let's see here. Let's see, we, we got the circus. <laughs> we could totally go to the circus, guys. Uh, we have the Oasis. We have, let's see, what is this? We have MacArthur Park. Um, okay, so we have a consignment store over here, the Consignment R Us, but I just by like looking at this place, oh hey, we have a little food truck over here, awesome, we could totally grab some food if we really wanted to, but like we're absolutely stuffed right now, so probably not going to be doing that, but yeah, I don't really think, judging by the way that this place looks, it's not exactly going to have any bee boxes or anything like that. So let's see here, we have, we have a Kenesha Holder, oh hey, this this is actually, my voice just like totally cracked there for a minute. This is Ricky's mother. Yeah, this is, this is her. So apparently she is working at the consignment store. But yeah, I don't really think that there's anything that we can do over here as far as that goes. Um, but oh, hey, there are actually some dumpsters over here that we could have her dumpster dive in. So might as well have her do that. You know, while she doesn't really have anything else to do. So it is Monday, so that means that Ricky and Nathan are most likely going to be off at school today. So up until they get off from school, I feel like we could just like do our daily grind, get some money in, in our pockets, because as of right now, we are kind of broke and I am not exactly looking forward to the time when mail gets delivered, which it looks like it's actually going to right now. So that means that our bills are most likely going to be coming to us and I'm just not looking forward to that. And by the way, as you can probably Probably already tell. I gave Autumn a makeover because it is actually autumn. <laughs> so we have about nine days until winter and I just kind of feel like maybe she went to the local like Goodwill or something, the thrift, the, the thrift store, oh my goodness, and she probably went to get some warmer clothes and we're just gonna say that she got all of these clothes like this sweater and these jeans for like 10 bucks or so. So yeah, that is, that's just kind of what I did and as far as her hair goes, like I feel like because she has at this point been living on her own for so long, she She's not exactly in the best position to be like keeping up on her dye job. So I tried to make it to where it looks like her hair has been growing out and the color has been fading. And so her natural hair color, which is black, has been kind of growing in a bit more and you can only really see the green at the tips. I thought, I don't know, I tried to make it work and I did the best that I could with what I had. So this is just kind of how she looks at this point. I think she still looks super cute. She's still rocking everything. She's yeah she she's good she's good <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna let her do this whole thing with uh doing some dumpster diving and let's see who else we got going on in here so we have cedric baker we have malcolm baker 
We have Mama Baker. How cute. <laughs> How cute is that? And yeah, it looks like that's really all that we have. So maybe like we don't even have anything to consign at this point. Like we have homework, which we're gonna, apparently I can't get rid of that. <laughs> apparently it's because we lived or we moved to a new world rather. So they just default gave us some new homework. Oh yay, we got a light. How cool. We definitely need one of those. Like I was wanting to buy her a light or a lamp rather, and we just ran out of money. And I didn't want to like make her completely broke. And so I had to like, you know, hold off on buying her a lamp, but we're just gonna have her, you know, finish with this. And of course we got another freaking flamingo, fabulous. <laughs> Great, as if I haven't dealt with enough of those already. And now, of course, she, she stinks. So when we end up going over to Ricky's house, or calling him up, rather, because I was going to ask him if he would maybe like to come over and hang out, and maybe we can, like, do a movie night or something, but no. I don't know. Now she just stinks, and I don't even think Ricky would want to come over to our house, so maybe we'll go over to his house. I don't know. I do not know. And we got another lamp. How cool. This is just the, the day for finding lamps, apparently. I wish that there was a shower here, though. Like, that would be pretty cool. Could I possibly, like, wash my hands a couple of times just to make myself not so grungy? Like, that would be pretty cool. And then I think school should be out here. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Sorry, girl. Don't yell at me. Wash your hands over here, please. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. And then I also, now that I actually look at it, I did change her lifetime wish to be a professional author just because I'm fairly certain that I mentioned in the first part that I personally think that she would make a pretty good writer. Like she has a pretty good, you know she has some stories to write basically so yeah just like with everything that's gone on in her life and just everything she has some stuff to write about and that did like absolutely nothing for our hygiene so that's cool rue just came into contact with fleas well that's lovely that's amazing at least we have a tub now to actually like you know bathe her so let's see here is there anything that i could possibly get rid of like i don't think so we have some stuff that we could probably get rid of at the grocery store so let's see if we were to go to the grocery store how much would we get? We would get 136. So we're going to do that. We're going to send her over to the grocery store to get rid of what vegetables and fruits she does actually have. Because I did, before we left, I had her harvest from her garden, like the things that was already growing. And then I also had her go down to that huge garden that was behind the school that she used to live by. And I had her harvest some things from there as well. So we do have a couple things. And that was how we were able to replant our garden at our new house. And it is just pouring down rain you guys so many stuck cars too like that's aggravating that definitely le leads to lag in my game who's this june w wickingham okay okay it's nice to meet you there girl <laughs> all righty so let's just get rid of this stuff here there we go we got a little bit of money how cool i know i stink you know you don't have to point it out to everybody <gasps> is this a teenager would she be a teenager? She's like not loaded, so she kind of looks a little weird. BB? BB. I think she is a teenager. Let's come over and meet her. Let's be, let's do a friendly introduction and let's meet her. And then we'll probably head over to Ricky's because he should be, um, yeah, she's totally a teenager. Um, he should be home from school at this point. Okay, awesome. So we made, are you a teen too, Darla? Oh my gosh, can I meet you too? Like, friendly introduction. She might not be a teen. Actually, I think she is. I think she is. Yeah, she's about the same height as us. Okay, we're making friends. You guys, there's more teens in this world. Oh, you're leaving now? Okay, that's fine. Are you a teen? No. I think she would be... Yeah, she's a young adult. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna head over to Ricky's house. And let me find out. Let me remember where I put him. Who lives here? Oh, McGinty. Okay. Okay. All right. So yeah, we're going to visit the Collins household, even though it's not the Collins household. It's the Holder household. Like really, it's only the Collins household is because that's the, that's the house that I moved literally everybody into when I moved them all over. Like before I moved them over here, I just put them all into one household. 
so that they wouldn't lose their relationships and whatnot. And I just kind of moved them all. So technically she knows like Ricky's mom and his dad and then um, Nathan's mom and everything, even though she shouldn't because she hasn't technically met them. But yeah, they're just in her, they're just in her relationship panel here. So we're just going to pretend that they're not actually there <laughs> just for the sake of everything. So all right, let's get heading over there. Hopefully rather quickly. The only thing that I don't really like about, you know, how far we live away from him is that it takes literally forever and a day just to get over here to his house. But anyways, yes, this right here, let me pause this really fast. This is Ricky's house. Like, can you seriously just let me live here with you like he has a freaking hot tub up here on his balcony he has just this house is just absolutely beautiful you guys it really is so let's have her get inside because it is like seriously raining so bad and then here's his little doggy little, little dusty <laughs> Alrighty, so please actually okay so there's ricky i was i was just about to say please tell me that ricky's even home right now like it looks like somebody's trying to call us but like, no thanks. No thanks. It was probably Nathan now that I think of it. Nathan calling us, seeing how we're doing. Alrighty, Ricky, you will not believe the day that I've had. Like, please just let me inside. <laughs> like, would you mind if I probably took a shower here at your house? Like, would you like to do some woohoo or something? Just, you know, just to just to get clean or something. No, we're not going to do that. That's <laughs> a little too quick, a little too soon, like a little, little too fast, a little too soon. I think that's what I was trying to say. But anyways, let's come over, be friendly. And we are just going to ask about his day a little bit. Ask, you know, how is, how is school going and whatnot, you know, because she does miss school. She loved going to school when she was actually living with her foster parents. And she, she really did like going. And now that she can't go, she really misses it so she's just asking him how it's going we're going to compliment his home as well and then we are going to um i guess we're going to ask his sign do we not know that yet apparently we don't okay well we're going to ask him that and then we are also ooh, we could risky woohoo <laughs> No, we're not going to do that just yet, but we are going to give him an amorous hug and it looks like he is an Aries and their traits are, or their signs are compatible. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're giving him an amorous hug and we're also going to give him a kiss and then, I don't know, like I really would like to take a shower, but I would also like to not get kicked out of his house for being quote unquote rude so yeah probably not gonna do that but we are gonna come over here and you don't have a couch ricky like please i wanted them i wanted him to have like a couch so that we could like cuddle together that would be cute but yeah then this is just kind of the upstairs it's a little bit barren i guess like it's not as furnished as the downstairs but it's still it's still pretty decent still looks pretty good <laughs> um but yeah let's see Let's see, I wonder if I were to take a shower in his house, he would probably get mad at me, but we're gonna try and take a shower. We're just gonna assume that he said like, yeah, it's totally cool, but he's probably gonna end up yelling at us anyway. Yeah, he's gonna follow us and yeah, he's gonna like yell at me. Please don't. You're, you're just gonna walk in on me instead? Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> Autumn is behaving inappropriately. If she continues, I'll have to ask her to leave. Like, shut up, Ricky. You're fine with it, okay? You're fine. <laughs> You are totally fine. Okay, well, I'm done. I'm done. You know, I just wanted to take a quick shower so that I'm not so disgusting. So now we can come back over here. We're going to be romantic and we're going to compliment his appearance. Oh, he was going to give us a flirtatious joke anyway. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> He's not mad at us anymore. Um, let's go ahead and what? Oh, stop it, Ricky. Just stop it. Okay. We're going to be, we're going to apologize. Like, sorry, I used your freaking shower. Like, I, I'm so sorry. Get over yourself. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess let's just continue to be friendly with him. Let's complain about our sleep deprivation. And let's also... Let's try and hold his hands a little bit. So let's see, would you maybe like to watch a movie with me? Like, can we just watch TV or something? Like, let's come over here. 
let's watch TV and let's invite him over to watch it with us. I just want to have fun with him. I want to hang out with him and everything. Like they have, they had such a good day yesterday and I want, I kind of want to keep it going basically. So let's have her, let's see, can we invite him? Yeah, ask to join. All right. So we're just going to watch TV with him, have a nice chill, chill day. And she is apparently watching the cooking network, I believe. Yeah. Well, she wanted to do that anyways. Yeah, watch the cooking channel. So she's just going to do that for a quick minute. Or no, this is like gardening or something. Yeah, I think that's what this is because it's a cow plant. Um, all right, well, let's have her change this to the cooking channel so that she can get this little wish here. And then I think here in a little bit, we should probably head home and give uh, give a flea bath to Rue. And she wants to eat the food, which it looks like she is currently doing. So that's good. All right, this is nice, this is nice. Like we actually have a place to hang out when it's all crappy outside, even though it looks like it has gotten a little bit better. As long as we are out by the time Ricky's parents get home, I think that'll be fine because they shouldn't even know that we are here. Like they don't know who we are. And I think that they would probably start asking questions if they actually knew who we were. Like, let's have her be a little bit more romantic. She's gonna flirt with him. And yeah, I really think that her feelings for him are really starting to develop. And I got a, I got a question regarding like autumn and nathan and everything like what's going to happen between them and honestly i personally feel like her and nathan are best off as like friends just because like at first i was impartial to who she was going to be with like i didn't care who she was with as long as she was happy and the more I saw her and Ricky together, I honestly just feel like Ricky is what's best for her at this point. She really likes him and they really go good together. And so I personally just think that her and Nathan would be better off as just friends. Like they are such good friends. They are best friends. She actually wants to become BFF with Nathan. And so I just think that that is where their relationship is best kept is best kept is as just friends so yeah just to kind of put that out there i just i just kind of think that and i think that her and ricky are really good together um can we like give him an amorous hug i think he's trying to go over and make some food which would be nice i mean we're not exactly that hungry right now but like oh no he's just coming over here to make himself like a smoothie or a blended drink or something along those lines yeah a smoothie we're just gonna say it's a smoothie <laughs> He's not like dipping into his parents' liquor cabinet or anything. So, all right, let's try and give him this Amorous hug. But yeah, I really think that her feelings for him are really, really, really starting to get stronger, like really quick. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, Ricky, just stop it. Just stop it, okay? <laughs> We're gonna come over and use the toilet. I think it's because he's like so hungry at this point and probably still because we used his freaking shower like, oh my gosh, it's such a crime to use a shower. But is there like an always, like now that I think of it, is there an always welcome thing where we won't get, you know, yelled at for using stuff? Like I know that there is one of those in The Sims 4, but I don't know about it in The Sims 3. So let me just check really quickly. Um... What is this? Your Sims will never get sick. Oh, well, we don't really need that. I mean, it would be handy, but I don't really think it, we need it. Um, let's see. Opportunistic? No. Um, yeah, I don't actually think that there is one of those in The Sims 3, which is kind of unfortunate kind of unfortunate what is this long distance friends friends will never become distant oh okay um perfect host would this be it open arms and um no i don't think so <laughs> well i yeah i just don't really think that there yeah that there is one okay well that kind of sucks because that would really 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 come in handy for situations like this but like like i was trying to say before ricky got all all you know this this way i was saying that i really think that her her 
feelings for him are really starting. Please tell me. Okay, I was about to say, please tell me that that is like someone else other than his parents. That she's really starting to feel for him and he like he's becoming really, really important to her. And apparently he just doesn't really want to be flirty right now. Like he just wants to be friendly. Let's enthuse about exercise, I suppose. We're just, if he wants to stay friendly, then we're going to stay friendly. We're going to compliment his home again. And then I think we should probably give him a hug and then kind of call it a night because it is getting pretty, pretty late. And yeah, let's try. Like he's probably going to deny this again, but we're going to try and give him an Amoris hug. Okay, there we go. He's feeling a little bit better now, but we are just going to tell him goodbye. We are going to head on home and one other. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Kanisha is going home. Oh, geez. Is there a back door that I could like sneak out of? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is not happening. Let's come over here like quick, 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 quick. Let's come over here before his mom comes into the room. Oh my goodness. Okay, so perfect timing. <laughs> we are going to have her just like sneak out through the back over here because I do not want her to be caught by his mom. No, 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 no. Come over here. Oh my gosh. Girl, you are making this so difficult. Like, come over here and sneak out the back. We do not want his mom seeing you, okay? <laughs> like, just please do this for me. Now go here. I want to make sure she's not going to go back through the house. Okay, now go here. There we go. Okay, so she made it, finally. Oh my gosh. Like, I didn't actually think that I would have to, like, guide her or something, but apparently I do. Okay, so one last thing that I wanted to check out that I did see is that there is, like, a thing over here, an under construction thing. So is this, like, full of, oh my goodness, there's, like, so many scraps or like piles of metal that we could dig through like after it actually spawns we should definitely come over here tomorrow and like just have her dig through a bunch of these things to try and get some scrap metal because that would definitely help us with the whole funds situation but anyways we're gonna send her home so that we can actually get rue taken care of and then i will probably just you know call it a night and whatnot and we do have to get her fed and everything like that so Let's just speed on through this here. And then we could also, you know, make use of some of the things that we got while we were dumpster diving. Like I could actually put some of those lamps in her house so that she has a little bit more light. Let's come over here and let's give a flea bath to Rue so that she's not like spreading the fleas all over the place. That has to be, ooh, that's so gross. That has to be like so uncomfortable too. And I also gave her a collar finally because she definitely has been needing one. A lot of you guys were also telling me to like give her a bandana or something and I would have loved to do that but I feel like I would have had to download custom content in order to do that because I didn't see any bandanas in the actual like create a sim for dogs or anything so how much okay so we only owe like 78 simoleons for bills so that's not too bad after we bathe her we will go ahead and pay the bills and then just kind of get ready for bed are you serious Ugh, whatever. I'll just I'll just do it off camera. I'll just do it off camera. It's totally fine. <laughs> we'll have her eat some leftover autumn salad and then head on off to sleep. And yeah, alrighty guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this part right here. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go ahead and leave me your comments down below telling me what you thought. And also hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy the video and that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will talk to you guys in my very very next video. All right. Bye guys.